Anne England from A3 2017 and now I will explain about three questions they are multiple choice question, gap filling, and class procedure. Hello everyone, my name is Riaza Azhari from A3 2017 and in this video I wanna explain the material about uh, open question type transformation type and error correction type hello everyone i'm fresa citizen from a3 2017 i want to explain about true false ta test matching test and uh, rearranging sentence test multiple choice question and this function of multiple choice question is multiple choice question can be used to test most things such as grammar vocabulary reading and listening and multiple choice question can be used in different teaching and testing situation uh, in multiple choice question there are advantages and disadvantages the the advantages is multiple choice question are easy to score and with the use of computer technology the answer can be read by machine not people and multiple choice question has a wide range of higher order thinking skill and these advantages of multiple choice question is multiple choice question are difficult to contracts and very time consuming to create and it is still possible for students for a uh, to just guess without knowing the correct answer and the example of multiple choice question is choose the correct word to complete this sentence my uncle will blah 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 holiday to Bali next week the chosen is A when B gas C going and D go so the multiple choice question ini uh, kalian diharuskan memilih jawaban yang paling tepat dan paling benar next is gap filling or fill in the blank the function is Gap fill can be used for to test a variety of areas such as vocabulary, grammar, and are very effective at testing listening for specific word. And the advantages and disadvantages of gap filling is the advantages. This type of task it easy to mark and relative easy to write. And this advantages, the teacher must bear in mind thought, uh, that in some case there may be many possible correct answer. Jadi di gap filling ini tuh uh, mengharuskan kalian untuk melengkapi uh, kata yang hilang dan kata yang hilangnya itu hanya satu dalam satu kalimat. For example. Uh, Complete this sentence. Not all people understand that everybody is blah blah blah. His own unique. Uh, jadi kalian harus melengkapi si kata-kata yang hilang dari kalimat tersebut. Is class procedure. Class procedure consists of the deletion of every fifth or ten word in the text. Because the procedure is random, it avoids test designer falling and because of the randoms of the delete word anything may be test within the single clause text grammar collocation big phrase reading comprehension which make it at least on the face of it the perfect test testing instrument and cost procedure uh, looks similar to completion or filling in the blank but they are is different in filling the blank the word for deletion are select subjectively and in cost test however the word are delete systematically uh, simpelnya jadi di cost procedure ini 
ada beberapa kata yang hilang dalam satu kalimat atau dalam satu paragraf. Kalau di gap fill itu hanya satu kata yang hilang dalam satu kalimat. Uh, and the advantages and disadvantages of class procedure. And disadvantages is suffering the correct word for the blank does imply an understanding of context and a knowledge of that word and how it function which make the cost technique a very useful technique to use in language tests and this effect just the score obtained by the student depending on the particular word that have been deleted Uh, rather than on on their general knowledge on the second language and some items are more difficult to supply than others and in some case they may be several possible answer for example in class procedure uh, you can see that uh, in class procedure there are several words delete Jadi kalian harus mengisi beberapa kata yang hilang dari kalimat ini. Nah, itu yang membedakan uh, class procedure ini dengan gap filling. Karena ada beberapa kata yang hilang. Transformation Transformation tests are particularly effective for testing grammar and understanding of the form. It means that the student has to rewrite a sentence based on an instruction or a keyword given. Jadi dalam soal jenis ini, adanya perubahan dari kalimat aktif menjadi kalimat pasif. Dan biasanya ketika dirubah ke dalam kalimat pasif itu selalu adanya perubahan juga dalam grammarnya. Uh, here I wanna give some example of transformation types, but one thing that student must be concerned uh, is the instruction of this question. Let's look at the instruction. Complete the sentences so that it has the same meaning. Because there is just complete the sentences, uh, so the student just uh, write down the correct word to make answer right. Number one, uh, Tasha asking to the Jen. Somebody cleans the room every day, Jen. Tasha asks Jen that the room is. The answer is. Tasha asks Jen that the room is. is cleaned by someone every day. From this example, we can see that there is change formula from active voice to passive voice, and it must be change grammar in answer the question. And there is the, the advantage of transformation style, is the test is fairly easy to mark. And for the this and for the disadvantage of this type is wouldn't be an appropriate question type if you want to test skill such as reading or listening. For the next material is open question or short answer question. Here the student must answer simple question after reading or listening or as a part of an oral interview. In these question types, usually consists with WH question, and the student can answer uh, the question from the text has been explained before, and the student must giving the correct information from the text. Jadi tipe soal dari short answer question ini sis- mengharuskan siswanya uh, menyajikan data-data aktual uh, yang terdapat dalam teks. Here, uh, I wanna give some example from this question types. Let's uh, look at the instruction. Answer the question. Number one, why did John steal the money? 
From this example, the student tried to give correct information according to the text has been explained before. And because this is just an uh, example, so I wanna give you one question, uh, but usually in another test or another uh, examination. Uh, before uh, there is question, uh, it always uh, it always uh, takes before. The advantage of open question is it can be used to test anything, uh, not only for reading test but only uh, listening or some in interview. It can be and. The this advantage is the answer is open ended it will be more difficult and time consuming to score uh, because the student uh, must have understanding according to the text uh, before answer uh, before answer the question so the next material is error correction in error correction must be found and corrected in a sentence or passage it could be an extra word mistake with verb forms or word missed or another example. Error correction is useful for testing grammar and vocabulary. Jadi dalam tipe jenis all ini itu siswa harus fokus karena uh, siswa harus menemukan kata yang salah atau kata yang tidak tepat dalam kalimat tersebut sehingga ketika siswa uh, menulis kembali kalimat tersebut um, sudah menjadi kalimat yang benar here I wanna give two example of error correction uh, one for grammar error and another one for vocabulary error the instruction number one the instruction is find the mistake in this following sentence correct and rewrite the sentence the question is <coughs> When it was rained very hard, the electricity in my house went out. And the incorrect answer in this question is rain, because it must be raining, not rain. Uh, and it must be right in past continuous tense. For another example is vocabulary error. Let's look at the instruction. Find the part in this sentence in incorrect. The question is then leave children under five years under that. Uh, the incorrect answer is children because it must be children, not add as inside the children because sentence children has been covered many young people so do not add s inside the sentence children and in these correction types there is the advantage of error correction uh, there is one problem with this question type is that some error can be connected in more than one way the question are in the form of statement there are some of these rules that are right and things that are wrong the person as is asked with marking each statement by circling the letter T or true if the statement is true in his opinion and circling the letter F or false if the statement is wrong there are two types of true and false forms namely one with correction students are asked to correct if they choose the wrong answer two without correction students are only asked to circle the answer true or false advantages of true and false tests 
First, can cover a large amount of material and does not take up much space. Second, easy to arrange. Third, the instructions are easy to understand. Fourth, can be used many times. Fifth, objective. And this advantages of true and false tests. First, easy to guess. Second, many problems cannot be stated only with the possibility of right or wrong. Third, can only refill memory and reintroduction. I have an example question from true and false test. In this test, and this is the question. Student must check whether the statement is the same or not as stated in the text. Next, matching test. Matching test can we replace the terms pair or match. Matching test consists of a series of questions and a series of answers. Each question has an answer list in the answer series. The student's task is find and place the answers so that it fits or match the question. Advantage of matching test. First, assessment can be done quickly and objectively. Second, appropriate is used to measure the ability to identify between two interrelated things. And third, can measure the scope of the broader, broader subject or subtopic. And disadvantage matching tests. First, can only measure things based on fact and memorization. Second, it is difficult to determine material or subject that measure matters that are interconnected. I have a example question from the matching test. In this question, students must match the questions with the answers. Students only need to choose the answers that are already listed in the options. And the last is the arranging, the arranging sentence. The arranging sentence is a form of test in the form of a complete and correct sentence. Then, the force irregularly so that the original form is difficult to recognize. Students are asked to rearrange them in the correct order. Advantage of the arranging sentence is this form of test can measure the logical ability or logical sequence of student. This form of test is widely used for language subject. And this advantage of rearranging sentence is the difficult is in determining the topic of the discussion which has a fairly good homogeneity. And I have an example of a question from the rearranging sentence test. In this example, the correct sentence is randomized to be irregular. The students must arrange the sentence into a good sentence and correct.